Nature is wisdom. I once locked a bear, a lion and an elephant in a room to learn this wisdom. It was carnage. But you can learn so much at the training camp. You'll face eight missions in the sewer. Apply the knowledge, turn those worms into small skinny sleeping bags. When I first encountered these amazingly intelligent and highly evolved worms, my initial thoughts were, what's the best way to kill them? Any wildlife documentary maker worth his salt should be able to take down any endangered species with nothing more than a biro, an elastic band, and a briefcase full of explosives. Now, you can experience hardcore, full-on, worm-to-worm combat at grassroots level. But this isn't just about fighting. It's about observing nature, collecting wildlife data, cross-referencing. Actually, it's about fighting. Get stuck in. Move it. Know your environment. Familiarize your ocular pods with every inch of the terrain. Except that little bit there, that's nothing. Your first kill, it's like crisps. You can't have just one. Clear this area of worms. And he was one day away from retirement. Sad for him, but visually pleasing. Next target, please. Remember, we're here only to observe and document worm activity and blow some up. Choose the grenade.
Wildlife filmmaker can't get attached to the animals he records. So let's blow another one up to remain impartial. Him. With wildlife filming, you need dynamic shots to hold the viewer's attention. Try an airstrike on that worm there. Your first wildlife campaign completed. Okay, you killed all the wildlife, but we did get some great shots, and that's what's important. Victory! I have in my hand a piece of paper. On it, in crayon, is written, It's war. How cool is that? Yes, it's time for the second training session. Not only will you learn how to kill worms with advanced movement and weaponry such as mines, you'll also learn how to turn hazards to your advantage. We didn't get this sort of training in the Woodland Stope Brigade Scouts, although we did kill trees. Look, another hostile worm. Unbelievable. Okay, look at that oil drum. Is it just landscape? In its current state, yes. If you blow it up, no. 
Then it becomes Mount Kiliwamjaro, spewing forth molten napalm in more directions than you can shake a spleen at. Last of the hostiles, and last of his family tree if all goes well. You deserve a medal for your work here today, but you're not getting one. Unfurl the flags, shout hooray and salute something. Welcome to the third of our victorious, or potentially utterly disastrous training missions. It's best to be honest. This is the arena of hand-to-hand -hand combat, manly worm fighting. You'll learn all about utilities and close combat weapons. We're not chucking explosives at each other now. Oh no, it's time to feel their dying breath on your laughing face. Or vice versa. Like I said, best to be honest. Move it. Thank you. That crate, handle with care. That worm, handle with no care. Ice him. Like what you paint 
try. Time to use that parachute training you never received. Land next to the crate, if you can. Chummy there won't be expecting a teleport attack. Get the crate, then say goodnight, Chummy. Come on in. Thank you. Time to tear down the concrete donkey and put up the concrete effigy of you, my friend. Not really. Fourth training mission, hey soldier. Keep calm, remain patient. You know, I once followed a butterfly for five years observing his progress. Turned out to be a bit of litter. Massive waste of time to panic. This is a journey into physics objects. All will be revealed. See that mushroom thingy? Baseball bat the fun out of fungi. Ah, not good. Poison mushroom gas fills the air. Look out for the healing properties of a health crate. your poorly tummy better. How lovely. Get back into the scrap and collect the weapons crate. Do something! Huh? Treat this hostile twerp like Incy Wincy and watch the sucker out. Use the bunker buster to destroy the hip flask. The water will rinse him away like spiders. Huh? 
Telekinesis is mind over physical matter, and that torch is movable. Hey, what about levitating it to help make a bridge? Look, I shouldn't have to nurse made you like this. You're a big worm now. have it in for this palooka. There's something about him that screams, Bazooka that palooka. Target the big red bomb and watch this fickle fighter take a dive. I can see you and I grabbing a cup of joe when this whole crazy mess is over, and then laughing about how you risked your life and I was never in any immediate danger. Ha! <laughs> Good times! <laughs> 